Trump drops the hammer on the Democrats and on the corrupt establishment by authorizing the total declassification of all secret documents related to Hillary's email scandal and more importantly, the Russia hoax. And people are losing their minds. They're yelling that Mr. Trump is trying to put innocent people in jail. Other people are saying that he's on side effects from his steroid medication and that he's not fit to run the office of presidency. I think that they're mad and scared. Hello everyone, this is Mr. Obvious, and today on the internet, we're gonna talk about, <laughs> we're gonna talk about a couple of stories that are going on. You see, Trump has done a total tweet storm and it's freaking everybody out. Who you can see on the Daily Mail. You listening, Nancy? Trump says he'll only approve a 12,000 stimulus check in a storm of tweets during his steroid treatment attacking the FDA, the FBI, Biden, Hillary, and Chris Wallace. Hours after crashing the market. Okay, well, yeah, I get it. So listen, a few things have happened. Trump went on a tweet storm and it's freaking people out, but here's what's funny. They were complaining over and over again that Trump was unwell. He was truly dying from COVID-19 because he wasn't tweeting. They said something like, He hasn't tweeted in over like 20 hours. This is truly, truly a bad sign. He must be on his deathbed. Which of course was absolutely insane. Trump was simply, you know, he was, he was in quarantine. He was in the hospital. He was receiving treatment and he was resting. You know, Lord forbid the president rest. But now he's back out of the White House. But now that he's been released from the hospital, you know, he's kind of getting back into his work. And one of the things that he's been doing is tweeting and advocating to make decisions, like any president should. I mean, you know, we can't live in a country that doesn't have a president who's not on the job, you know? And it just seems like nothing is ever good enough. When Trump doesn't tweet, oh my God, he must be dying, America is over. When Trump does tweet, oh my God, he must be having side effects from the medications, America is over, quick. We gotta cancel the president. It's the same story. There is no pleasing these people and they clearly suffer from Trump derangement syndrome. So we're gonna talk about all of this and more, <laughs> including the spicy memes that Trump is dropping and the declassification of these files. It's pretty big news, folks. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe and hit the bell button for notifications for more content. And if you like this video, please consider giving it a share. So I'm gonna read the highlight here. So a few things have happened. One, Trump said that he would approve a standalone bill for individual stimulus checks. The reason for this is simple. The Democrats have been blocking any and all attempts for Republicans to pass, you know, a bipartisan bill that allows Americans to receive more stimulus checks, uh -huh, probably another $1,200 like the previous stimulus check. However, every time they try to make a deal, the Democrats try to, you know, sneak in their agendas. They asked for stuff like welfare for illegal immigrants. They asked for the, the banning of voter ID and other insane nonsense. You know, they always do this. The Democrats always try to shove stuff that has nothing to do with the issue inside these bills. And the Republicans, you know, logically said no. So Trump, and, Trump is now saying, you know what? If you don't want to help the American people, I'm going to do it myself. Here on Twitter, Donald J. Trump. I have fully authorized the total declassification of any and all documents pertaining to the greatest political crime in American history. The Russia hoax, likewise the Hillary Clinton email scandal. No redactions. Now this is in response to Paul Sperry who says, when all the documents are finally declassified and the redactions are removed from reports, the nation will see that the FBI and the CIA not only knew the Russia collusion allegations against Trump were a political dirty trick, but they were in on that trick. Now this, my friends, is nuclear. Trump may have well have nuked the Democrat party from orbit because this is going to expose all of their dirty deeds. And before we talk about all this, I'm gonna break it down. A quick word from our sponsor. Virtue Signal, the card game. Virtue Signal is a card game parody of social justice activism. You play as one of 12 different social justice warriors. The object of the game is simple amass an army of NPC followers. There's also the Virtue Signal expansion pack, including cards such as Wax My Balls, Bigot, but you can get it all for only $34.98. Get yours today by clicking on the link down below 
in the description. So Trump gave the green light to Attorney General Bill Barr to declassify any documents related to the surveillance of Trump's campaign in 2016. Fox News reports, John Ratcliffe, director of national intelligence, declassified notes from the former CIA director John Brennan on Tuesday that showed that the former President Barack Obama was briefed on a plan to tie Donald Trump to Russia as a means of distracting the public from her, from her use of a private email server ahead of the 2016 election. These documents expose the Russian collusion hoax. Now, I know a lot of people find it hard to believe that the government itself, the FBI, the CIA, Barack Obama, Hillary Clinton, and the Democratic Party could possibly be involved in a massive, massive campaign of corruption in order to basically have a coup and stop Trump from ever having become president because that is the real story here. The FBI was caught with exposed text between FBI agents that they were plotting to stop the United States American president from becoming president. Now this is not old news, this happened, this is documented, and we know this. But now with these documents coming out, it may expose an awful lot of people, including the FBI. Now I know that it is hard to believe for some people. I actually want you to know, the FBI has a long history of being deeply biased and deeply corrupt. One example I can cite is my own video. I made a video called The FBI Browses 4chan, and it was all about how the FBI was exposed by their own report that FBI agents have been known to visit websites like 4chan and other image boards, and they were posting horrible things. Essentially, they were encouraging people to commit crimes, and I can totally believe that the FBI perpetuated a Russian collusion hoax in order to influence the elections. Now there's an even more interesting part of this story because things are getting spicy. Here you can see on the Gateway Pundit, the DOJ announces a press conference tomorrow at 11 a.m. ET on a matter of national security. Word on the street is the DOJ is terrified of what Trump has unleashed, that these documents could possibly expose the entire DNC, the Democrats, the FBI, the CIA, and other people involved in the D... I don't want to say like a deep state, but like a dark state, right? Um, I, I believe my favorite uh, label is the shadow government. Ooh, sounds so spooky because it kind of is. The idea that we have a bunch of people working in government who are highly corrupt and willing to do something like make a, a hoax, a hoax of Russian collusion. And for how long did they feed us this hoax? Like it, it was all year. They said, Trump is guilty, you colluded at the Russians. There was Rachel Maddow who would talk about it day after day. And it was all this nonsense and paranoid delusions. Trump is working directly for Putin. You ever notice that? How Russia is always the boogeyman? In all the movies, in all the media, Russia are the bad guys, ooh. And you know what the sad part is? It's that in real life, Russia is not even, it's not even that big of a problem. Yeah, there's Russian hackers. Yeah, Russia messes with the US. But if you're gonna ask me who the real threat to America is, it's China. CWF says, they are desperate due to President Trump's declassifying everything with no redactions. They are going to fight back under the guise of national security. But I guess we'll see. Moving on, one of the things that I'd like to highlight is how they frame the narrative. For example, here on the Daily Mail, they're claiming that he called the FBI scum. But if you actually look at Donald J. Trump's tweet, he didn't say the FBI were scum. He said that a bunch of scum had perpetuated this hoax. Now, 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 is that, is that a Freudian slip? Are you saying that you think the FBI are the ones he was referring to? And if so, why? Why did you think that? Could it be that you think that it was the FBI? Ah, the mask is falling off. Now you have a bunch of people saying that Trump is simply having side effects from his medications, but you know, clearly Trump is back to his old self and he's in good spirits. I do not believe the narrative that he's, uh, you know, suffering from side effects. I think that's ridiculous. I think I've said all there is to say. These documents are being declassified. People are losing their minds as leftists spread insane conspiracy theories. And corrupt, corrupt politicians and Democrats are shaking in their boots. But that, my friends, is merely the obvious. 
Well, that's all for now, folks. What do you think about this story? Let me know down below in the comment section. As always, if you want to support the channel, you can join me on Patreon or Subscribestar. If you want to donate, visit my donor box page or send me crypto. Links and addresses are down below. Other ways to support the channel include visiting my merch store and perhaps one of my sponsors. If you like my content and if you think my channel deserves it, please consider sharing my videos. It is the most powerful promotion heck, probably the only promotion someone like me can get these days. Anyhow, thanks for watching. This has been Mr. Obvious, and I'll see you all next time.